Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 3rd of 2022. Well, it is titled Jupiter's Europa from spacecraft Juno. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the four large moons of Jupiter known as Europa. Now those four large moons were first seen by Galileo back in the early 1600s, when he looked through the looked through his telescope at the sky. So a very new instrument at the time that allowed to see thing fainter things that had never been seen before. And one of those was that Jupiter seemed to have four stars that were, were traveling with it. And these turned out to be its moons and are sometimes called the Galilean moons of Jupiter in honor of Galileo. Now Europa is one of those that is very interesting. It is actually the smallest of the four large moons of Jupiter and is completely coated in ice. So when we look at the surface here, we're seeing a completely icy surface, water ice. And down below, we have an ocean of liquid water down below this. So hundreds of kilometers below the surface, there is liquid water there. Now, how does an object like this maintain liquid water and get enough heat to to warm up the water? And that is through tidal forces from Jupiter. So Jupiter pulls on the object and creates tides much as our moon creates tides on Earth. Well, Jupiter being much more massive creates even larger tides on its moons. And in this case, can continually heat up the interior by stretching the different parts of the moon and causing it to be warmed up inside. It essentially gets kneaded as much as kneading a lump of clay can make it malleable while well, the same thing happens to Europa over time. And it has heated up in inside allowing water there water down below the surface and then a com complete layer of ice up above. Now this image was taken by the Juno spacecraft currently orbiting Jupiter and studying the large planet and its moons. So as we study that, in fact, this image was taken just a few days ago when the uh, spacecraft happened to pass close to Europa. Now the fact that we see that there is water here gives us the hope or possibility that life could exist on Europa. Not on its surface, which would be frozen and lifeless and exposed to space, but down below in that liquid ocean down below the surface. So one of the places we look at within our solar system for having a possibility of life is pictured here in our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for October 3rd of 2022. It was titled Jupiter's Europa from spacecraft Juno. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Big Eagle. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.